Participate in this because I have to return all the parts that we borrowed that we're not using to the, my team who let us raid literally every pneumatic fitting they had, every pneumatic cylinder, all their number 10 bolts, um, all their Versa transmission parts. So I am going to return those now. We love you, Bare Metal. <laughs> we're about to start our first full autonomous test. Full autonomous. The whole thing. We're going to grab the Cycle bin, pick it up, back up around the platform, put it down, back up. So get the points for the recycle bin and our robot. And that's the plan. Oh, and we moved the tote. We don't take the tote in our autonomous. So. Uh, clear. Full autonomous test with the actual code that actually does the autonomous. Three, two, one, go. Gotta go further. Might want to turn on the last. This is autonomous full test number three. Uh, change some values. Should actually have the autonomous that we've been testing. So here we go. Uh, three, two, one, go. We are gonna do autonomous full test number four. Um, hopefully it goes the right arc this time and we're actually gonna pick up the recycle bin. So here it goes. Uh, three, two, one, go. Poi fix! Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what we want. That's a win. Oh yeah, that's a, dead that's a win. Last night, you guys probably saw that things weren't working so well, um, and you know, as we were trying to even just pull this by hand, it took a huge amount of force. Um, and so that was because these two linear bearings were really, really close together, which means that the, the constant torque from the load was not distributed over a very long distance, which means there's a, a large force against the, the sides by the linear bearings, which translates to a lot of friction. So, uh, to fix that, we spread these apart, which re reduces that force, um, and as you can see, it works pretty well. So, um, that, was, that was how we, we fixed the issue, to allow ourselves to be able to lift three totes at the same time as a recycling bin, with a noodle in it, of course. The other issue we had, obviously, is that those flimsy wooden sticks were um, 
breaking, so we put uh, one by one aluminum extrusion around the outside just so that we don't have to worry about it because it's sad when, when Ellie breaks an arm. By the way, I guess I can show you guys now. These come out and go, you know, kind of wherever in order to get inside our transport area. Um, and they, they just tie in with pins. We added these cables uh, as support just so that these things aren't, you know, bending forward way too far. In addition to, to moving these, these blocks farther apart, the linear bearings farther apart, we uh, s switch this out so that we have a triangle here and this can slide along to s balance the force and uh, move the, where we are pulling this out closer to the center of gravity when we have totes stacked up. Um, uh, moving, moving that force closer to the center of gravity reduces again the torque that is seen here and the amount of binding and frictional force which makes it easier to pull. When it gets up to the top, we have it come together at two pulleys and a carabiner. Um, so we are essentially grabbing this at the center of mass and pulling up so that there's very, very minimal torque at, at these linear bearings. So the changes we have left to do, I guess the main thing mechanically is to add some, some ballast in the back just so that our robot isn't doing this on a regular basis. Um, but otherwise we're really, really happy with the design. Um, it's been a good two and a half days.